Hi guys, this is your information that you need for your Unit 1 English 10 final. It's in the Essay 2 folder, this gray folder here at the bottom. Your assignments from Step 1 through Step 4 are right here in front of you. Step 1 is the overview and instructions. This clarifies that you are writing an essay, preferably a five paragraph essay, it just lends itself that way, that answers the prompt um, here. So let's go through this. In this unit, you read about various characters whose lives are transformed by scary in scary circumstances. In some cases, the transformations reveal something that was there the whole time, but disguised or hidden. So we are um, carefully looking at transformation in these scary stories. Your assignment then is to write an explanatory essay on the following topic. In what ways does transformation play a role in stories meant to scare us? You will need to be really intentional about answering this question in your first paragraph because answering this question should be your th thesis. Your thesis is the main idea that will guide the rest of your essay. Your body paragraphs then will provide evidence from three texts that we have read in this class that prove your answer to this is correct. So, in what ways does transformation play a role in stories meant to scare us? Where is transformation in the stories we've read? Your job is to use evidence from at least three of the selections you've read and researched in this unit to support your perspective. Include a narrative dimension in the form of an anecdote or a brief story from your own experience or of that of someone you know. Ensure that your ideas are fully supported, that you use precise words, and that your organization is logical and easy to follow. So, you'll need at least three pieces of evidence from three texts, and you'll also need an anecdote. Here's your rubric. You will be able to read through this rubric and um, check off what you have um, accomplished to make sure that you have everything you need for your final draft. That means step two is a brainstorm. This is where you're going to come up with your three examples from three different texts on how um, characters are transformed. So for this, you have those clear instructions that asks you what three texts will you use. Think of three, think of all of them and what will be the most useful to you as you answer the question, what ways does transformation play a role in stories meant to scare us? I took one text and came up with three examples just so you guys would have some ideas of where we're going with this. Remember, for you personally, you need at least three different texts. So do not just copy what I just did here and write an essay only about House of Usher. You need three sources in your own essay. So from one source, House of Usher, you could look at Usher, Usher and talk about how he is transformed when he fears for the life of his sister. Until then, he's so scared that she'll die, he thinks she's dead and buries her alive and then actually has reason to fear. So he's transformed because he's afraid of her um, and eventually is dead. So his transformation is from alive to dead um, because of fear, really. The narrator um, in House of Usher is also transformed um, almost immediately when he sees the house. He is overcome with a sense of fear that shifts how he thinks. He is no longer able to have a positive perspective. Um, but you could also talk about the very end of the text when that he is terrified and he sees that his friend um, Roderick Usher is not just mentally unstable, but like legitimately fearing legitimate things because there's some supernatural things going on in the house. Like his sister comes back and this bloody spectral is terrifying and... Uh, then as uh, the narrator leaves the house, the house crumbles and disappears. So all those things might have actually been not just a mental health issue that Usher was having, but uh, real. And so narrator from having this experience is transformed. And lastly, Usher's sister, she is also transformed in House of Usher. Um, she appears to be dead and is buried like she's dead, but she's not. She returns in a bloody, scary, ghost-like version of herself um, to be very violent and actually kill her brother. So that's a very big shift for her. So you're welcome to use House of Usher as one of the texts. You're welcome to use one of these characters as one of your examples. Your job in this brainstorm is to come up with three different texts and what transformation, what character, and their transformation will you um, give an example for goes in the comment. So the other text that we read is House Taken Over, Where is Here, and Why Do Some Brains Enjoy Fear? 
You're welcome to use any of those. You just need to come up with three characters who are transformed by fear. That's your step two, brainstorm. Step three then, plan, is um, what will your introduction, this is your five step plan for how you're gonna set up your five essays. What's your intro paragraph? What's your first example piece of evidence? What's your second example piece of evidence? What's your final example piece of evidence? And how will you conclude is how that's set up. Remember, you do need a personal anecdote in here. So maybe there's one of the stories that you could say, um, uh, perhaps in house taken over the brother and sister turn from wealthy homeowners to homeless because they're afraid and they leave their house. And maybe you have a personal anecdote that makes sense because one time you were afraid in your house and you wanted to leave because it was so scary. That would fit in there. Or maybe you have a personal story of um, something similar to House of Usher where the narrator comes to help and ends up being so scared that he himself needs help. Maybe there was a time where you were supposed to be the helper like you were a babysitter or you were staying at home with your siblings and your parents were gone and suddenly it was scary for you and you were the one in charge, but now you were the one who also needed help. Just like in House of Usher, the narrator came to help Roderick and then had to run away from the scene because he could no longer help. So um, your job is to include an anecdote there. Once you are done with your plan then, you move forward and write your final draft using your plan. Your plan works like an outline. You take each one of these five answers and you turn it into a paragraph. Make sure to have actual evidence from the text and then you'll submit that here. So that's how your essay two works. Do you have any questions? Shoot me an email. Ask me any questions you need to. Good luck.